Welcome back to the Bluffton News. Jim Westcott, the executive director from the Low Country Tourism Commission, joins us now. Jim, welcome to the Bluffton News. Thank you. Nice to be here. Let's start off simply. First off, what is the Low Country Tourism Commission and how do you collect the information and data on tourism in our area? The Low Country Tourism Commission is one of 11 regional tourism promotion organizations across the state. Uh, we were created by South Carolina state law in 1991 uh, and we represent uh, Buford, Colleton, Hampton, and Jasper counties. And where uh, you represent all of these areas, where are you located? We're located at exit 33 on Interstate 95. We have the old Frampton Plantation House that we've restored and we operate it as the Lowcountry Visitor Center and Museum. Okay, so you're kind of in the center of things. Now, what is the impact of the tourism industry in South Carolina? Actually, the tourism industry uh, creates a $14 billion impact uh, in the state of South Carolina. Um, there are uh, 12 counties in the state that receive over uh, $100 billion of visitor spending and uh, excuse me, it's $1 billion of visitor spending uh, and Buford County is one of those. Uh, also, the uh, tourism industry is responsible for generating $1.1 billion in, in state and local taxes, uh, tax revenues. About one in 10 uh, South Carolinians are employed by the tourism industry and that translates to over 12,000 people directly employed by tourism in Buford County alone. Well, I know that here in the Low Country area, we definitely rely heavily on tourism as part of our economy. Where does the Bluffton Hilton Head area rank in South Carolina in terms of the tourism impact? The, uh, Buford and Hilton Head is uh, number three in the state behind Charleston and Myrtle Beach, which is first. Okay, I was very curious about that. I'd heard that Myrtle Beach was top. Do you see an area where we can focus to improve tourism in our area? Uh, I think probably uh, customer training, or excuse me, um, uh, employee training for customer service would be an area that we could always improve. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for your input. It's always interesting to hear about that area of work because like I said, it's something that's very important to us here. We appreciate your being here. Thank you so much.